Aslo Mittal may not have reported a profit, but it's showing the kind of a turnaround that has given outgoing CEO Nongkulele Konyembi Zaheita hope that the company is poised for great things this year. The company's earnings recovered to 47 million rand last year from a 477 million rand loss in 2012. They were helped by a weaker rent and a rise in steel prices. We're cautiously optimistic. We think that this is a year that will show that the hard times are behind the industry and we will see much, much better performance. We've certainly um, announced for first quarter a positive earnings outlook. Uh, and so things are looking quite good. We've done enough internally to benefit when the market turns, but I think the market certainly is showing every sign of turning. The outgoing CEO says he has no regrets after six years at the helm of Africa's largest steel producer. That's despite presiding over a bitter iron ore pricing battle with Kumba Iron Ore, which saw Aslo Mittal paying more for iron ore coming out of Sichen. The reason that we didn't follow through with an arbitration that would have sought to restore a cost plus three agreement was so we could accommodate Tabazimbi. The big driver was to try and find a way to settle the issues of excessive costs at Tabazimbi, not so much as Sishin. And given that we had all these multiplicity of disputes with Kumba, not only Sishin um, in terms of the cost plus three, but also overcharging and participation in Phoenix, etc., all of those have been resolved. And I think that is a far more positive outcome than one would have hoped for had you been looking, you know, 12 months ago. Yembi Zaheita leaves the company on the 18th of this month. Hans Ludwig Rosenstock will take over as acting CEO while the company seeks a permanent replacement. Luta Mutrochelo, SABC News, Johannesburg.